Welcome to Module 5, Working with Data. You now have the foundation of the conceptual framework for data literacy from Modules 1, 2, and 3. And you have practiced your next step to data literacy, data collection, in Module 4. You are now ready to manage and evaluate data. Your next stop on the data citizen journey is learning how to work with the data you gather, cleaning data, analyzing data, and interpreting data. After completing this module, you will be able to articulate the question you are trying to answer using data analysis, create a plan for data analysis, identify patterns or trends from the data, and consider sample size, practical, and statistical significance when drawing conclusions from data. Cleaning data. Many data sources have purposes other than analysis. Therefore, the data is not usually standardized. This means the data may not have specific field lengths, appropriate spelling or grammar, or predefined options to choose from in a data field. For example, if you work in a patient waiting area and you are gathering information to check patients in for their appointment, you are entering data from a registration form into an electronic medical record or EMR system. You are not entering data designed for research. You are focused on getting people in to see the doctor for their presenting medical issue. When you access this data, you may notice patient addresses are in multiple fields and different formats. In the name column, some may have the first, middle, and last, and some have just the first, middle initial, and last name. Some of the birth dates may not be in the same format. This makes analysis very difficult. Computers cannot analyze data when formats do not match up. Some things you can do to clean up messy data include explore the data and get familiar with it. You can do this by using Excel and sorting the data by columns, filtering the data, or creating frequency tables of the categorical variables, such as gender. A frequency table would just have the total number of each category of gender in this case. A categorical variable is just a variable, like gender, that has different values. Others include race, ethnicity, age group, or education. Change the data to match a specific format. For example, if you have gender as a variable, but it is entered in different formats when you receive the data, you can change male and M to a consistent value of 1, female and F to 2, and transgender and T to 3 for your gender variable. This is called recoding data. Perform basic calculations in Excel to check for errors in numerical data. For example, sorting the data may highlight outliers or errors in data entry. Outliers are data that have unusual values compared to the rest of your data. An example might be if you are recoding data into ones and twos, sorting the data would help you identify where you might have accidentally typed an 11 instead of a one. Another option for cleaning up messy data that you may want to explore is using OpenRefine, which is a free software. For large data sets, using a data cleaning software or program may save you time. You can learn more about cleaning your data in the further learning section at the end of this module. Lastly, when you receive a data set, the owner will often include a data dictionary. You can refer to this data dictionary or codebook to decide what are valid and invalid values for a field or variable before you make changes. The data dictionary also specifies missing values and how they are coded. If there is no data dictionary, you can contact the data owner and ask for assistance.